Well, friends, there is somebody here this morning who is just antsy to proclaim the good news that Jesus Christ is his Lord. There he is. Come up here, Logan. And uh, he wants to express it through baptism this morning uh, to everybody here. And uh, Logan, why don't you just tell us how God has drawn you to believe in Jesus? Well, first of all, can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Well, first of all, my grandpa, Chuck Strickler, encouraged me to go to church, and I never wanted to. And I love it here, and um, that's all I can say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Let me tell some of the story. So uh, he gave me a call, and uh, he had gotten the news that his dad, I mean his grandpa, um, is with COPD, Progr prognosis wasn't good. Severe. Severe. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and so he uh, called me up. Logan went with us um, with the youth group uh, to a Christian concert many years ago. Yeah, skillet. Yep, skillet. Good. Skillet. And uh, so at any rate, um, so he called me up, and we talked. And I shared the gospel illustration of the bridge, which everybody, drew yep, drew it up. You've got that, right? And uh, everybody should learn how to do that. See me if you want to learn. Okay. And Logan, I asked Logan, so Logan, here's the gospel. Where would you say you are? He put himself on the bridge, but not over. In the middle. In the middle. Because you just weren't sure about what you believed yet, right? Amen. And uh, and Logan came to church that Sunday and and came to um, our Christian uh, variety show. That was good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And um, the gospel went out there. And uh, I'm cleaning up afterwards, and I was the last one. And I, and I went to my office, and in my office, ah, oh, I should have gotten it. It was a piece of paper. And it said, I believe in God. Logan <laughs> so Logan gave his life to Jesus Christ because of God's work in this church through, that, through those means. And now he wants to celebrate that in baptism. So um, I am reminded uh, that throughout the New Testament, uh, whenever somebody put, believe and believe, you know, put their faith in Jesus Christ, they were baptized. All right? Remember the guy uh, that Philip witnessed to, the Ethiopian eunuch? He, he was like, is there any reason why I can't be baptized? Here's some water right here. <laughs> Let's go down to the river, <laughs> you know, and, and, and proclaim the washing away of sin through the blood of Jesus Christ. Um, Acts 8, 12. But when they believed Philip and he proclaimed the good news of the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. So friends, baptism is a sign and seal of God's promises to this covenant people. In baptism, God promises by grace alone to forgive our sins, to adopt us into the body of Christ, the church, to send the Holy Spirit daily to renew and cleanse us, and to resurrect us to eternal life. Through baptism, Christ calls us to new obedience, to love and trust God completely, to forsake the evil of the world, and to live a new and holy life expressing who we are in Christ. So Logan, do you renounce sin and the power of evil in your life and in this world? Yes. Who is your Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Logan, sorry about that. It was for you that Jesus Christ died. It was for you that Jesus Christ rose from the dead and gave the promise of eternal life. So, man, I ask you to kneel right here. Both knees? Uh, if you can. <coughs> Logan, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's celebrate. That was cold, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> oh, let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for your work, for your kingdom come to Logan. 
We ask, Lord, that you would just help him to keep growing now in his walk with you. We ask, Lord, that you would give him boldness about sharing you with others, what you are doing in his life. We pray, Heavenly Father, that together we would do your work in service in your, to your name, to your glory. We also pray, Lord, for the offering that we are now about to receive. We ask, Lord, that you would enable this church to keep moving forward, reaching people for you and growing people in you. We pray these things in your name, Jesus. Amen.